Okay, we've got Never Ash here on the podcast today. Thanks for coming in, boys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Steve, Tom. Tom, down from Chicago, actually up from Dominican. Yes, mm-hmm. just got back. Um, I kind of want to get into the company, um, but I kind of want to start how I first met you guys and got involved with you guys is basically through Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, you know, threw a shot in the dark. Yep. Saw you smoking a cigar on your Instagram uh-huh. and... Uh, you know, wasn't really expecting the response, but you said, love a good cigar. Yeah. And uh, at the time, we were still making them. So, uh, you know, but I stood, stayed in touch with you. And, um, you know, once we got them, we sent them. And uh, you really liked the Churchill. So yeah, and then the we Churchill. stayed in touch until now. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, and I know you guys just came back from uh, the DR. When they get into that, um, kind of want to start basically who you guys are, how you guys came together, and how, how, it, all, how it all started. So that's, you should probably start with that. Tommy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Well, actually, time out. We should probably buy a cigar first. Yeah, we should. Yeah, let's we do should. that. Absolutely. You're going to use your new trick that we taught you? And you, yeah, you guys just taught me that you shouldn't cut them. And everyone down in Dominican is just using their their fingernails and just kind of taking off the, the cap. Yeah, that was like, we were kind of just blown away because, yeah. like, you know, we were there. They all had different lighters, blow torches, you sure. know, whatnot. And we just noticed no one was cutting cigars. Yeah. And I actually started watching like the blenders and uh, different people, and they're uh-huh. just picking them. So they're actually just using their fingernail of the pointer finger and their thumb. They're pressing down on the actual cap and just taking like a little bit off, you know, checking the draw mm-hmm. and then uh, lighting it up. Yeah, there there are absolutely no cutters in the Dominican. We did not see one cutter. So we figured out that, that we were doing it wrong all this time, and, and now we're going to start doing it the Dominican way and. Absolutely. Is there is, is there a certain way that they they lit their cigars also? No, it's no. I think standard. I think they just went with the you know toast a foot. Toast uh, foot. You know, make sure it it's burning evenly. Uh-huh. You know, blow if you need to. Yep. Uh, you know, check the draw. Yep. And then uh, you know, start your ash. So there's no you, you can't mess up the light. Well, you can mess up the light. Yeah. So. You you wanna you wanna toast it the you wanna toast the, uh, the foot first. Okay. Um, because so if you just foot. blast the wrapper, you know, you blast. Yes, the foot is the the end piece of the okay. end piece of the cigar. Yep. And you want to also, you know, rotate it a little bit uh, okay. while you're, you know, while you're doing that, so it'll burn evenly. Yep. So how'd you guys, how'd you guys get started in this? How'd you guys meet? Well, um, Steve considers me uh, his nephew, mm-hmm. Italian nephew. We're both, we're both Italian. Okay. Um, and essentially, in like 2013, you know, after you know I graduated uh, college, I moved um, back home. Um, my dad, big influence in my life, uh, always smoked cigars when I was young. Okay. Uh, you know, when he would play poker with his friends, I would uh, be going to the table, giving them drinks, they're all smoking. So as a young kid, I always kind of was intrigued by cigars mm-hmm. and whatnot. Um, so when I moved back after college, you know, we'd be smoking on the deck and, you know, I'd just be sitting there kind of playing with my ash and, you know, I kind of coined Never Ash. So um, I tagged it uh, on Instagram in 2013. Um, and basically, you know, just smoke different cigars for the next five years. Um, in 2018, um, I actually uh, was drinking some wine with my wife, and uh, we saw someone post a long ash, and we, you know, we're like, I'm like, man, you know, this is, I've been doing this for a while. Let's, uh, yep. you know, let's, 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 let's go after something. So we hopped on uh, GoDaddy. Uh, domain was available. So, really? You know, yeah, domain was available. Bought the domain. Um, it's so it, hard to get domain names. I was kind of shocked. Damn you know, it sounded like so clean and good you know, yeah, never ash. I someone, was just like it's, someone, it's available yeah someone or just buys them $2? up just to keep them and then <laughs> try to sell them so yeah. it's amazing yeah so um yeah i bought it and then we, we signed up on instagram and facebook we didn't do anything with it at the time but yeah. we just wanted to do the whole thing domain sure. social media um and then in 2019 um we're smoking my, my dad has like a little cigar lounge in his in his garage um so a year later yep year later okay. uh, at a, our family christmas party uh steve came and He's out there, uh, he's an entrepreneur, he runs four businesses, which I'll explain, but um, he was kind of looking for his next idea. And you know, we, we had been drinking, having fun, and I was sitting there and my ash started to go, and I said, uh, you know, right here, Steve. He's like, what do you mean? I go, never ash. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh. I go, yeah, never ash. You know, cigars, we, we can do whatever. Um, so he, he, he seemed to like the idea, you know, we didn't really talk about it much more then. Um, 2020 came along. Um, and I was like, you know, beginning of the year, I really wanted to just get after it a little more and, and develop the logo. So I worked with uh, a little designer. I, I kind of started to build the logo. Um, 
And then as the pandemic hit, you know, had a little extra time to kind of just, you know, spend on it. Um, and then when I posted the logo, Steve immediately reached out and was like, hey, let's do this. Like, so you came up with the logo? Yeah, I came up with the logo. Um, I was, cool. uh, simple. Know, it's simple. Clean. Yeah, the whole, the whole brand is really trying to be simple. Yeah. You know, simplicity, you know, bring a simple approach to cigars. Absolutely. Uh, you know, good cigars. Yeah. So Steve came along and he's like, let's do this. So my vision and kind of how I've always felt this is, you know, I've had a, you know, a car in the garage. At this point, we don't know what kind of car it is. But, you know, Steve came along and uh, with his knowledge and business and his experience, he had the keys to drive. Gotcha. So when he joined um, uh, in, in 2020, you know, we signed an agreement, started the business, and we kind of got after it starting in uh, August 2020. So Steve, what were you doing? What, what, what do you do? So obviously you do something besides this. Yeah. <laughs> so so my uh, my bread and butter mm -hmm. is logistics. Okay. I've been in in trucking ever since I graduated from college. Um, in 1999, I started my own company. Mm -hmm. uh, it was called Express Solutions. We grew it for about 15 years. Uh, sold it to uh, Echo Global Logistics. Okay. They're headquartered out of Chicago in 2015. I gotcha. So um, it kept me on for a four year period, and then we extended the contract. So I'm still with them running my branch in, on the south side. Um, I also own an indoor sports complex, okay. which I opened uh, in 2015. 2015 was a busy year for me. So, um, and then, you know, so I, I basically keep busy doing that. Yeah. And then, I, I, like Tommy said, you know, I'm always looking for different things that we can do. Mm -hmm. And I love cigars, I've um, been smoking cigars for a while. And I liked Tommy's idea, yeah. because the social media sites, if, if you look at cigar brands, you know, there's a lot of good cigars out there. Yeah. But which cigar brand has a community out there? So we've got guys posting Never Ash, yeah. Sacramento, Never Ash, Pure Michigan, Never Ash. Yeah. You know, wherever they are, they're smoking cigars with friends. Mm -hmm. They're letting the ash grow yeah. and they're posting. Yeah. And so we're having fun with that. Yeah. So at the same time, I said, we got to make our own cigars, uh -huh. right? Um, I have a, um, an affiliate down in the Dominican and so I reached out to him and I said, can you connect us with some people down there? Obviously the Dominican is all cigars. How did you have an affiliate in the in Dominican? So um, it's kind of funny, the, the, the lady who cuts my family's hair in our, in our area, <laughs> it's um, her daughter is down in the Dominican, um, married to this affiliate. It's amazing how it's such a small world and like the, you get these ideas and then someone kind of comes along yeah. and like, propels it that like you would never ever think that would yeah. would come into your life that way yeah so he, he's been an absolute gem yeah. um, and he connected us with a lot of people gotcha. uh, we actually have two factories down there making our cigars um, there's one factory that makes the Robusto and the Figurado so you, do, you you call this guy up and you say hey we want to we want to make some cigars I said I want to create my own cigar brand. And he said done and he said that can be done and basically it came down to well what are you looking for in a cigar sure so I started telling him what we like, uh -huh. what flavors we like, what cigars we smoke here that we yeah. like. And so he started sending samples, okay. <clears throat> which was, it was a tough job having to sample all these cigars, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sure but, it was. Uh, um, you know, I, I still remember the first time that we got the first sample. Uh -huh. And uh, Tommy came over, we sat out back, and we were so excited. Yeah. You know, and, and that was the Churchill, what I'm smoking right now. Um, fantastic cigar. Oh, I love that cigar. Fell in love with it immediately. Yeah. No changes necessary whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The following cigars we had to tweak and do yeah. some different things with, um, but you know it's just kind of one thing led to another. It took us probably a good nine months to get set up, get licensed, um, figure out our, our blends, trademark, 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 trademark Never Ash, um, and then we went live on e-commerce December of last December. It's past December. So uh, it's been a good year. You know, we're, we're doing e-commerce. Uh -huh. We are uh, in golf courses, mm -hmm. about five right now. We are the official cigar for Oak Brook Polo Club. So we do their, we go to their functions. Sure. And, and we're just taking it one step at a time. So next year in 2022, we, our goal is to do maybe 30, 40 different functions yeah. to try to get the word out. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know right now our passion is, you know, cigars and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so enjoyable to be with people and, and it, you know, smoke these and, and talk to them about it. Because, you know, what we found is, you know, the cigar community is, is a great group of people. Yeah. You know? Cigar is a commitment. Um, 
It you guys sit down and smoke a cigar with yeah. someone, you're willing to talk about pretty much anything for yeah. the next 30, 45 minutes. Oh, I, mean, I know. We sit out here and smoke know, cigars. Yeah, it's, not like, it's not the quick cigarette break. What's it's, it's a cigar break. Yeah. You know, and the feelings you get from it, you kind of just more relaxed. You know, you're just sitting there and yeah. smoking it slow. You're, you're so right about the community part. And I think that's the part that you guys are really nailing um, because, like you said, uh, sitting down and having a cigar with people is, is a commitment. And you're sitting there like, you're going to talk about things, you're going to hash things out, whatever's happening. But the, the social media aspect of it, of creating that, you know, never ash and, and creating creating that community around uh, the brand is, is genius because, um, you know, anybody can tag a cigar. But, like, whenever you create that band of people together, uh, it, it's pretty cool. So, I mean, you've, you've, you've fallen into something. Well, one thing that we noticed was when we were down in the Dominican, it was really, really refreshing. People get together, we go to the factory, you know, we do a tour or whatever, meet some people, and then immediately they're like, let's have a cigar, sit down in an area, yeah. bring the coffee out. And everywhere we went, you know, uh, we went to three different locations, that happened in all instances. Yeah. And what was unique was, as we're sitting there smoking, having coffee, people were walking in and sat down to join us. And, you know, we obviously didn't know who they were, but they yeah. sat down, introduced themselves, had a cigar, had some coffee. So basically they take time out mm -hmm. to, to smell the roses. Mm -hmm. It was really refreshing. Yeah. And so, you know, it, it was, you're and they right. they rocking it, chairs. They're just kind of going back. Everyone's got rocking, rocking chairs. chairs. Andy, we got to get some rocking chairs out here. <laughs> You know we joke around on this show, but I want to get serious for a second. When I think of high-end art, I think of legends like Picasso, Warhol, and Monet. You know, artists that belong in the walls of museums. But Masterworks, the online investment platform, sees it as an alternative asset class that can potentially build generational wealth. And when you consider that contemporary art outperformed the SP500 by 174% from 1995 through 2020, it's easy to see why. Through Masterworks, regular folks like you and me can get in on blue chip art market without being as rich as Jerry Jones. Here's how it works. Masterworks buys a piece of art, then it files the work with the SEC, sort of like a filing for an IPO. Then you can buy shares representing an investment in that painting. Masterworks holds the piece for a while, and when they sell it, you get a prorated portion of the profit. Boom, you're an art investor. Art investing won't be some flash in the pan. It's a long-term move. Over 230,000 investors have signed up and more than $250 million have been invested with Masterworks. You've got to check it out. Go to masterworks.io slash Cutler to get priority access to their exclusive community investing in excellent art. Again, that's masterworks.io slash Cutler. See important disclosures at masterworks.io slash disclaimer. So are you, are you, are you, do you have, do you have another gig? Are you full-time? Um, yeah, so um, I was working in uh, IT for over five years. Mm -hmm. um, I've kind of been IT my whole my whole life. Yeah. Um, and you know, I was faced with uh, uh, the, the mandate, vaccine mandate. Gotcha. Um, talked to a lot of you know friends and family, you mm -hmm. know, and um, a lot of them said, uh, you know, think of your daughter, you know. Sure. Well, you know, and I said, you know, that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of I'm standing up for myself I'm standing yeah. up for what I'm believing yeah. and um, never ash had kind of the foundation built yeah. and my model was like I'm doing a couple things right now 50% you know yeah. I'm working all day and then I'm doing that you yeah. know on the weekends I'm going helping on orders doing events and I just felt if it ever was going to kind of grow at a, a quicker rate I needed to go all in gotcha. so as of yesterday I'm all in on never ash and uh, first few days of work have been pretty fun <laughs> yeah, and I, I have a lot of respect for him for making that decision. That's and a tough he, decision to make. And he, he really wanted to set the example for his daughter yeah. to, you know, stand up for what you believe in. For sure. And I didn't think he was going to do it, yeah. but I was so I was so proud that yeah. he did it. And so I committed to help him in every way possible for sure. to get this thing where we yeah. want it to be. Um, it, yeah, it, it's unfortunate that you had to make that decision. Um, I think that's just the time we live in now, as we all know, and Americans are, are facing that challenge all over the place and it, it's uh, it breaks my heart for him but it just uh it, it's where we're at and uh you made a decision and i have a ton of respect for it and i know there's i was watching uh something uh yesterday and there was a, a 22 uh, uh a, a state trooper was on for 22 22 years and he made the same decision he was like i'm i'm out um and he did his last sign off and it was it was cool to see so uh uh kudos to you um it's gonna work out yeah and, uh, yeah, everything you're, happens you're, for a reason. You're, you're you know? all in now, so yeah, uh, and it and it's, it truly is my passion. You yeah. know, 
um, cigars and people. You know, I love meeting new people. And with that, you sit down and you have a cigar, and you know, you get to know them a little better. So whenever you guys were first getting your samples, were you, were you was there ever a point like, I mean, where the hell are these things coming from? <laughs> like, are we sure that these are coming from <laughs> Dominican? Or, so yeah, I, yeah, I guess I mean they're just being shipped in the mail, right? So you and you're just correct. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I don't know that there was really that question. Yeah. Um, you know, just the, something. I mean, you, it came from a reliable source. Yes, it came exactly. From trusted source. Exactly. Yeah. So you were like, hey. But like, at the end of the day, that's why we wanted to get down there. Yeah. And when we went down there, we saw firsthand. We saw our cigars. So you guys were kind of rolling. I mean, you guys were. I mean, you guys were rolling a little bit, and, and you made yeah. a decision. Hey, like, if we're gonna do this, we need to go down there. Yep. Yeah put hands on it, meet yep. the people, shake their hand, see the yep. whole process. Yeah, or Real really relationships. Yeah. Yes. Because that's what it's about. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the relationships down there, I mean, their culture is very, you know. People, so where, where, were, you, where were you guys at? Um, we were at, uh, we stayed in Santiago. Got um, but we visited our factories in uh, Tamboril. Okay. San Santiago is kind of in the middle. In the middle. Of, the, of yep. Dominican, right? Correct. Yep. I've, I've only been kind of uh, on the, on the, South, what a Punta Cana or something like that. I've mm -hmm. never been. So, what's the middle of Dominican? So, Island? it's a uh, it's a very impoverished okay. community. Um, the people are so humble; mm -hmm. it's amazing. Yeah. So, I've had friends that have gone down to the Dominican, stay on the resorts. We really didn't yep. leave the resort. Yeah. You know, look, might be a little sketchy, etc. Those might. I've been there. Yep. yep. And uh, it's not. Sure. It, it it may look a little sketchy, sure. but it's just people that are struggling day to day yeah. um, to make a living, and they're very because of that they're very humble, mm -hmm. and I mean they just wave to you when you're driving, and they just they they they're very accommodating, and like I said, you know everyone's bringing coffee out, you know it's it's a really good community down yeah. there, good people. I mean, and cigars is, is the. It's just basically the way of Yeah, life, I right? mean, yeah, so 81% of the economy yeah, is cigars. So that's about 83,000 people in that area um, that's in cigars. And really, you know, they're, they all have different kind of roles in, in the process, um, but they start out really at a young age and they live it, so. And everyone thinks Cuban whenever they think cigars, I feel like. Yes. Um, is that just because of well, why? Well, why well Cuban by default, you know, can't be, you know, get get in the U.S. So yep. I think the U.S. approach is it's it's something that they really shouldn't have. And, mm -hmm. But that's no, you know, it, the Havana leaves down there and what they do is is fantastic. Yeah. Um, Hoya de Monterey, it, a lot of good brands down there. Monte Cristo number two, uh, fantastic, no doubt. But um, what we realized and what we heard firsthand down there is um, the Dominican processing of all the tobacco and, and what they do um, with, with the fermentation and everything is just really, you know, about 100 years ahead of, of, of Cuba. And really? That being, that being said, they just, you know, Cuban, they, they sell Cuban cigars, you know, you know, the Cubans. So, you know, why would they spend a lot of money and invest more money if, you know. People are buying them. People are buying them no matter what, and they're yeah. good. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Dominican, you know, th there's a lot of great brands down there. Um, so we feel personally that we're, we're kind of in a great spot, you know, being in the Dominican and doing, you know, Dominican tobacco. and. Well, 65% of the uh, cigars in the States come from Dominican. Really? You know, so, I mean, when you look at Cuba, Nicaragua, Dominican, you know, we, we wanted to go straight to the horse's mouth mm -hmm. and, and go where we can get the best possible product yeah. because we really do want to have a premium cigar. And so we did that, you know, and I think that our cigars are fantastic. They're they the are. real deal. Yeah. And um, we just need to get the word out, sure. right? We're, we're a newer company. Sure. You know, people really don't know about us that, yeah. that, that much yet, but... Um, we're having a lot of fun, yeah. you know, we're enjoying it. It's uh, definitely, like Tommy said, it's a passion, yeah. you know. We're what were, what were, so what's the process down there for them making making a cigar? Like what, what, I mean, you guys were obviously there and you saw, you, I'm, I'm guessing you saw the fields, picking it, I mean, start to finish. So like walk us, walk us through that. So we've got a guy um, who has uh, fields in Ecuador and also in the Dominican. Okay. But what happens is um, magnificent. They they go there twice a year and they pick the tobacco. Yeah, you showed me pictures last night yep. of it and they're, I mean, they're <laughs> literally pristine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. pristine. Yep. Like, no weeds, dark soil, tilled, leaves are, I mean, everything's perfect. Yeah. It's insane looking. So they go down twice a year, uh -huh. they put them on containers and they ship them over. Okay the Dominican and uh, the, the first guy is the filler guy and he is Do the they guy. dry him in the Dominican then too? 
Yeah. Well, yeah. How do I mean, dry them? So, I mean, at my property, we have an old uh, tobacco bar. Okay. And it's got, you know, the, it's it's got the, the, the slates. I mean, it's got like a little yeah. gap in all of them. And then it's got the poles across. So I'm guessing they just... Is yeah, that, that's is that's that really the process. Yeah, or? that's really the curing process. And okay. after they pick them, it goes in there for about you know sixty days before it gets to the tobacco processing. So they, so they dry them for sixty days. Yeah, yeah, they cure them. Okay. Yeah, and cure then they them. and okay. then, yeah, the, the whole process at the fact the, the processing factory is is you know magnificent. Uh, it could take up to a year and a half the way they fermentate it. So they, they they cure they cure the leaves, and then what happens? Yeah, they cure the leaves, and then they, they bring the uh, tobacco leaves to the processing factory. Gotcha. Um, and from there, they do a variety of different things. Um, you know, one thing we found interesting is uh, the fermentation process where the leaves are um, in water and wine, red wine. Um, and depending on the wrapper, it, you know, it could take anywhere from, you know, three to six months or, you know, depending really? so on the, I mean, the like, wrapper. It's literally like... Okay, so it's like wine, like they're, they're, they're... Yeah, they're I mean, doing. cigars and wine are, are, are you know, they, they say they're first cousins, you know, they're, they're kind of similar in the way they, they grow in nature. I like both. Uh, you know, in the way, you know, wine, red wine blends, uh, you know, it, it's kind of very similar like cigars, the way they're blended leaves, you know, uh, with the strength of the leaves. So, um, yeah, and then it gets there and then, uh, you know, they, they process it in some uh, woven cloth in a big bundle and it all depends on what type of leaves or if it's a wrapper or binder. And uh, from there, it goes to the, the factory that will then produce the cigar, roll the cigar, and age the cigar. And it's amazing because the, you know, the, the factory owners, the, the quality control is insane. Yeah. I mean, the factory owners, when you, when you wrap a cigar and it's ready to go, they set it up on the counter in front of them, and the factory owner will literally go and touch the entire cigar to make sure that the consistency is there. He'll inspect it to make sure that there's no imperfections, et cetera. And then they go into the aging room. So we, we order 10,000 cigars at a time. Yeah. And they go into the aging room. So you're telling me the fact that he'll, he'll look at- Every single one. Every single one. It's crazy. Every and single what, one. I mean, if he doesn't like it, what happens? It, it goes away. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. gone. So really a, a cigar could go through its whole life cycle <laughs> and get rolled. And the factory owner uh, uh, or the supervisor, depending on how big it is, how it's ran, will will touch it and feel it and say no or yes. So it, it, if it doesn't make it to be sold, that is, it'll still be smoked by someone Somewhere. there. You know, sure. it's not doesn't mean it's yeah, yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah, not yeah. good, but, but yeah, it, we 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 they're just not they're just not it's not up to their uh, standards. They're just not going to give it. Give yeah, it out. correct. Incredible. Yeah, correct. and that's why the quality out of the Dominican is so great. Yeah, it's it's just fantastic. I mean, and these guys that roll are it's so impressive. I mean, they can roll 500 cigars in a day. There, because we, Tommy and I sat down and tried to roll. Yeah, that's <laughs> and, uh, and it, it was, I struggled. Steve, yeah. I, I got to give Steve credit. And they were actually pretty surprised at how well he did. Uh, <laughs> and I am, I'm stuff. I'm like this. Sorry. Oh, yeah, this I guy. Do, uh, that's a never asked blooper. So I do, no, it, I, do uh, it, I do it all the time. Yeah, you know, I mean, at least Ashton. Kind I don't of, even know why I have ashtrays. It's just I just ash all over myself. Yeah, um, it's embarrassing. Yeah, so. But, but uh, you, you guys are telling me like the guys that are rolling them, like they're literally just picking it up with their hands. Yeah, so the guy who does the, the filler part, yeah. he'll, he'll take the leaves sure. and, and he'll take the, uh, the filler leaves, put them into his hand, mm -hmm. and that's how he judges how much he should have. And then he rolls it on this roller thing, gives it to the guy that will then put the wrap on the end. And it's amazing how every single one- How consistent he, he, he is. Yeah, just from putting it in his hands, he knows how much is just yeah, right. And that's the, that's the filler and the binder at that point, right? And then Bro. after he puts it through the little, whatever you want to call it. And it, it does have a name, yeah. It, it's it like ends up the same size every, every time. single time. It's yeah. just amazing. It's so it, impressive. And then it, it kind of sits in a press yeah. and they'll push it all down. I mean, no well, machines, no nothing. No. Just a guy. I mean, I love that part of it. I, well, and I in the States, there are machines. I'm sure there is. Yeah, and that's why we like the Dominican because yeah. it's all by hand. It's amazing. Yeah, I love that part of it. I mean, and that's their life. I mean, it kind of goes oh, back yeah. to like the you know the whole ten thousand hour rule. Like these 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 people are. That's all they. That's all they know. Yeah, yeah. And they've been doing it their entire lives. So like they know exactly. Yeah. How much? And another, how little? Yeah, and another interesting part about it is they work in pairs. So the person that is sitting there, uh, using the binder and the filler, and, and making that. And then that will go, you know, like I said, in that machine to, to press yeah. for about 30, 45 minutes. And then once that's ready, it'll... Oh, the one, one cigar for 30, 45 minutes? Yeah, they got to press it down so it stays in the binder. The filler stays in the binder. Gotcha. But then when it gets next to the roller, 
uh, they'll kind of you know take it out, and then the roller will then you know have its its uh, its the, the cigar's wrapper, uh -huh. and it'll roll the cigar. And then at the end of it, which was really um, ironic, it was that they use a, a, a little bit of a um, gum, which is like a little sticky substance mm -hmm. that comes from a tree, and they'll take a still little natural. Yeah, still natural. Yeah, still natural. All natural. All natural. Uh, they will take a little like square, a little circle piece left over from the from the leaf, the wrapper leaf, and they'll kind of just take it on their hand they and put a tip on, place it on tip. That's, That's where Steve excelled the most when it came to that. <laughs> that, that was, I mean, I think they, they might have want to hire him at, at that point. But, uh, yeah. Well, it was funny because they were telling <laughs> me we're, we're in the yeah. process and they're like, you know, they can't really speak English, but they're like, uh -huh. you have to make love to the cigar. <laughs> you know, like, so it was like, you know, you got to get yeah. into it. You got to yeah. be yeah. passionate with yeah. it, you know. And, uh, and it seems like they are. I mean, yeah. even though they do it five, six hundred times a day, like they take pride in every single one that comes out. I mean, the, these guys, you know, they get paid by the cigar. Yeah. And, and probably at the end of the day, they're making like $600 a month, which, I mean, we went to lunch three people. It was like 10 bucks. So crazy. it's, you know, it's, it, yeah. the cost of living is a lot less, but yeah. these guys work really hard. Yeah. I mean, so much respect five, for yeah. the workmanship down there. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think once you come back, you're just like, wow, this cigar, the life cycle of this, what we're smoking right now. Makes you appreciate it a lot more. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, yeah. and I think, you know, going to the horse's mouth, like Steve said, going down there right. changed our appreciation level tenfold. And, you know. probably, probably brought a lot more passion into the company and making it work. I, I mean, for, for yeah. those people down there, I mean, just being able to sell their sell their <laughs> product. I mean, yeah. that's what it would do for me. Yeah, we got home. I mean, I was up two nights in a row to like 3 a.m. reading stuff about cigars. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I just could, couldn't could get enough yeah. of it, you know. Brainstorm so an idea. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Like, how do, what do we do next? What yeah. do we do this? You know, so, yeah, it, it definitely, you know, lit a fire in both of us going down there. And you guys were telling me, because um, we went to dinner last night, but you guys were telling me that... Uh, like men, women, everyone down there. Yeah, while they're working, they're all yeah. smoking, <laughs> yes. enjoying cigars, and even the women. All the women are smoking. Yeah, it's just everyone's smoking. They're tasting the product. Yeah. <laughs> ten to twelve. Ten to twelve a day. Ten to twelve a day. Yeah, but it's natural. Yeah. I mean, it makes me feel better about my life. Yeah, right. right? I mean, because I was a little bit worried about myself. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not at ten to twelve a day, but. Well, I should say it's natural, but you know it is it is smoking. Yes, um, you know that's, a, that's Dis, the point dis, I want to make. Disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer. We're, we're Just good. Make sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're they're they're, they're tasting the product. They're yeah. uh, it's a it's a lifestyle, really. Yeah. Um, you know, like Steve said, whether they're talking with friends or whether they're working, they're they're kind of smoking cigars. Build some confidence into your new winter wardrobe and RSVP yes to every holiday invite on your calendar with new looks from Express. Express offers confidence-boosting styles designed for real life versatility in every holiday event on your schedule. And if you're going to make it through the holidays, you better be comfortable. So check out Express sweaters. They're seriously soft and versatile. Their sweater flannel is handsome and comfy, and it comes in a classic silhouettes like turtleneck, crew neck, and v-neck. And of course, Express has all the essentials, including their new long sleeve Henleys and their classic crew necks. Be on the lookout for great deals in their stores or online at express.com find a fit for every rsvp at express so la last night we were, we were talking like you guys you've talked about filler you've talked about wrappers like w talk us through just a, a cigar and what 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 it, what it, what is in this thing so and, and uh and the strength of it because i mean you guys were breaking it down last night um but we were a few bourbons in, so. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, the Churchill is a Connecticut wrap, oh. Connecticut seed, but it's grown in the Dominican. The crops are grown the in the Dominican. The filler is, yeah, the filler is Dominican. The, the wrap's grown in the Ecuadorian. So there's really three focal points for the cigar itself. The wrapper, the binder, yeah. and the filler. The wrapper itself will be, you know, 30 to 60% of, of the flavor, and it also for for the bird's eye view from an end user is the cigar, right? Yes. So you might see like our torpedo here is it's a really dark, very dark. Yeah. Which um, would, might scare, which might scare some people It does. People it does. Away. When we're at events, people are like, uh, uh you yeah. know, but I'm like, it's, it's, you know, three quarters of full body strength, um, but it's smooth, you know? Sure. So it all depends on kind of what's inside the filler. That yeah. the filler will, will determine the strength. So. And the filler is basically yes what's inside of what's there. yeah what's at the root of that cigar so what you kind of look at you know in the circle that's the so you could have a you could have a dark wrapper and your filler could be mild mm -hmm. yeah and, I mean, and it's just like it's just the wrapper is just your flavor profile is basically right. what you're telling me yeah gotcha yep so you've got two different types of crops one will be your wrapper or your binder yep two leaves and then you've got another one that's gonna have like three sections, and that'll be your filler. And usually the top leaf 
ends up being darker because it's got more more exposure to sun and then it yep okay. and then the middle leaf Down is here. a little bit less okay and then the bottom one is even less so you can take those different leaves and they're going to have so um, you're telling me that they they categorize they they the top leaves goes like they separate these. yeah that's yep. yes they classify them all and it's it's ligero yep. um seiko Fizo, and then there's some people Velado at the middle yeah so when they when they get them to those factories, I just thought they used to go on the leaves and just kind of put them all together <laughs> and just let it. No, roll they're classifying them, you know, on strength level. Of, so of depending what, on the so. section they choose, sure, it would it would it would um, determine the strength. Gotcha. So that's kind of how they do that. Okay. It's uh it's really interesting. It's an art. Yeah, and and there's so many different crops, so many different levels on each crop. That's mm -hmm. how you can get so many different styles of cigars, styles of cigars yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just amazing yeah you would think from one plant yep. you would just get you know a couple of variations but i mean there's i don't know how many variations of cigars i mean countless it, sure. you know like you know uh, you know really at the end of the day um no two cigars are, are, are alike they're yeah. similar sure and that being that being said you know there's a cigar out there for everyone mm -hmm. right you know not every pro buddy's profile is going to be the same right you know we kind of all agree that we all like the churchill we but like yeah. you know not to say everyone will like it. They no. might they might be, you know, darker wrappers or they like the dark the stronger cigars. So everyone's kind of different, but you know, they all respect each other's profile. And you guys are we were, we were talking about site um just the integrity that they have down there and like once once you get a blend it's talk about that. So we tried different cigars. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Oh, I like this cigar. This is really good." Yeah. And he said, "Well, we can't reproduce that for you." Sure. Cuz that's somebody else's cigar. Yeah. So the integrity is, is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they want to retain their client base. Yeah. And if it comes out that, you know, they're, they're selling. Now, there's some factories that are, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they will do that, mm -hmm. right? But the factories that we use, they're more of boutique style factories. Right. They're, they're not um, huge yep. in the sense that, you know, one of them has maybe 50 employees. Yeah. But down there, that's like boutique. Yeah. So um, they will not do that. Um, Which is great. I love that. Yeah, it's it's yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely a part of the culture and the respect level. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean you get your. I mean, that's your cigar. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a lot of the that's master blenders will, will blend something right, and they'll just you'll have it in the aging room. So when someone comes knocking, it will be ready to try. Mm -hmm. And if that person says, "Okay, I'm ready to make that purchase," yeah. they'll change the label name or the the packaging name to the, the company that wants it. And from there, that is a very very big thing down there with trust and the culture. Like once someone's your client and yeah. is buying that cigar, that's their cigar. You know, I love that. And if someone likes that, they'll make you something, you know, similar yeah. again. But you know, you won't get the same exact. That's. Uh, that, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. And you guys are saying you guys are. I mean, going to restaurants and stuff, and like you're having I mean, cigars. You can like smoke anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were we were driving from factory to factory yeah. in in uh, our buddy's car, and we're smoking. And you go mm -hmm. into the factory, and you're smoking. And <laughs> I mean, everywhere you go, you can smoke, which is you know. A, so we, we told them it's we'd good. love to have you in the states, yeah. <laughs> but just so you know, you know we can't we can't go to a restaurant. Yeah, this and smoke. isn't happening. We can smoke after, <laughs> you know, um, but it's just not like that. Yeah, you know? it's good and bad. I, I I don't not sure that I want to live in a place. I do, but I don't. Yeah. I would love to live in a place where I could have wine and steak, smoke a cigar in the restaurant, but I'm not sure if I if that would probably be good for me. It might it might get a little excessive. Yeah, I mean, I my think cigar, I had... My cigar counts high enough. I'm not sure if I need need that flexibility. Yeah, I think I had three at dinner. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just like, you know, kind of just, it's out, all right, new, next one, you know? I nice mean, rum. and, you know, we had that... Uh, and you guys brought this this rum. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. That, Tell me about this rum. We're going to try it. So it's the Leanda. Uh -huh. And I apologize if that's butchered. But um, at the same time, uh, I had never drank rum before. Uh, yeah, I'm not a rum guy. Well, not like, um, you know, I've had, like, the Bacardi or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatnot, yeah, yeah. but never anything like that. But Steve had told me, he's like, hey, I want to get some of that rum down there. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, we had some, and um, there you go, Jay. We had some, and uh, it's all we drank down there. The whole really? Trip. All, we drank this. So uh, it's smooth. It's good. It's not too sweet. And uh, it pairs very well with, with the cigars themselves. So and they, they, they drink Yes, yes, this is definitely lots of good rum. Down lots there. of good rum. Tons of good rum. Is that there. kind of their, their go to? Yep. It's rum. That's what they're known for. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Salute. Cheers. 
What's your thoughts? That is not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we said. That's it's got that wrong. little sweet flavor at the end. It, it's fantastic. This isn't wrong. <laughs> fantastic. I'm telling you, man, it's a... Uh, it's a... Yeah, this is scary. I can see why now you drink. Yeah, it's... And, I'll, and I, I asked you, it's like, you you were just drinking in a, like this Like meat. this, yep. Um, maybe I need to go to Dominican. <laughs> <laughs> I, need to re, I need to rethink my uh, vacation place. Yeah. I, I mean, I, you just kind of sit by the pool, uh, get a little bit of this, have a cigar, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's, Beautiful it's, weather. Oh, yeah. Beautiful weather. Great weather. Steaks, cigars. Whatever the hell this is. Yeah, it's silly. <laughs> I mean, it, it sounds... It's not what you would think, right? It's not. <laughs> it's shocking. It's addicting. Yeah. It is. It's, it really is. And it's actually, surprisingly, like, you can kind of have a few, and it's not like... I'm sure you can have a few. It's not like the bourbon, like, you know, bourbon can kind of come in, yeah, come yeah. out of nowhere. You have, really. bur- it, you have a few yeah. bourbons, it catches up to oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but we were drinking and drinking, and we're talking, and we're smoking, yeah, and we're good like... conversation. We still felt like nothing was kicking in. It was great. I mean, it's fantastic yeah. stuff. I'm not sure if it's the ingredients or what it is, but yeah, it's uh, fantastic. It is really good. And they told us it's not, you know, available in the state, so we had to do the whole... Uh, of course it's not. We looked it up online. Yeah, we duty free. Did you guys, Someone uh, at the airport had, like, eight of them. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eight of them? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, they bought them at the airport, duty oh, free, duty so... Free, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, you can, you can do that. I guess they probably, they probably knew the limit, but, yeah, they just said bags of them. I was like, Steve, check them out. <laughs> How was customs coming back for you guys? Easy? Yeah, pretty easy. Yeah, it was good. You know what's funny is... Um, so they told us we had to get a COVID test yeah. before we can come back. Sure. So we did. We went to the clinic, got a COVID test, Negative. got the printout, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Nobody ever asked us for the, the printout. Really? Nobody checked. No, every, I mean, every step of the way, we're like, I'm like, Steve, wh- wh- what do we give this yeah, to? Who, like, who wants this piece you want of paper? This? You want this? I've been holding it for like, yeah. you know, the, the two flights I've been on. Someone's got to uh, take it at some point. Yeah, nobody wanted it. So I still got it. We flew back from Bahamas, and that's l- literally the only thing that they asked us didn't check bags we were we were in a private plane i will i will say that and we were at a small little airport i will say that too um so it is a little bit different but no one said one thing about any uh, we could have had a hundred of these on the plane and no one would have said anything all they want to know is did you have a COVID test didn't check bags didn't ask one thing about it and we got back on the plane and i was like we really missed the boat guys we could have brought back anything we wanted at this point yep. But that's 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 a, that's another podcast at this point. So so let me ask you this: you yeah. you've tried all of our cigars. Yep. And what's your thoughts? Um, I they are. Well, number number one thought is you need to sell them for more. <laughs> we're we're trying we're trying to get some yeah, some market share. Yeah, we right? the boat. We're, we're kind of new. Um, number two, they're they're unbelievable. And I I tell you what. Um, you know, there's a there's a couple of cigar shops in Nashville. There's a couple of cigar bars, and you know, I'll go in and, and buy some, and you know, buy them in a pack or whatever, and get home and like one out of four, two out of ten, a little bit dry, a little bit off. Like literally, every time you guys send me the cigar, it's literally perfect. It's That's it's the right goal. It's it's, yeah. the, it's everything about it. It's, it's the right touch. It's not too well, it dry. Well, it has to be because, you know, then the, the, the consumer is not going to order again. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, it has to be consistent. Yeah. You know, uh, the order has to go out uh, exactly what they ordered, right? It, it has to be um, quality, Yeah. you know? Yeah, and I think, honestly, you know, we're, we're looking for feedback. I mean, sure. me and Steve are very open to it. And um, they take so much pride down there yeah. in making it. They told us, like, what's your feedback? And we didn't really, we're like, they're really good. They're like, okay, well, if they're, you know, if anything changes, let us yeah. know, and that'll make us work harder. That's great. Yeah, so, like, you know, we're open for feedback. We're looking for feedback, you know. But I think it's great you guys went down there and actually, like, you know, saw it and, and, and you know, saw how much how much effort they put into it and how important it is to them. And, you know, you know you know exactly what the product is now. You know yeah. it's as good as you guys Oh, yeah, we, we plan to go down at least a couple times a year. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we have to. We, we want to keep an eye on our stuff. Yeah. We want to build relationships. Yep. We want to show them that we appreciate mm-hmm. what they're doing. I mean, we went down there. We brought you know T-shirts and hats mm-hmm. and, and all kinds of goodies, and 
you know, a lot of these guys, like I said, they don't make a lot of money, yeah. and you know, we, we want to show them that we appreciate what they're doing. Yeah. It's an art. Mm -hmm. you know, they're an very art. talented, mm -hmm. um, and and they're good people. Yeah. They're good people. So, our uh, our partner down there, um, he actually has a mission, and um, a, a portion of our cigars goes to his mission. That's kind of our way of saying thank you for helping yeah. us get this going. You What's know? his mission? Uh, uh, kids, church. Um, all of the above. All so, of so he's got um, a church, okay. and they gather on Sundays, and, and it's a different scenario because they it's an outdoor setting, mm -hmm. um, and they smoke cigars. Um, there, there is a sermon uh -huh. that he gives. Um, that somebody brings food, and they all eat together. There is no time limit. Yeah. You know, they just kind of and they they basically talk about life. They talk about issues, problems, whatever. Yeah. Um, he has. He has helped 4,000 children get eyeglasses wow. um, through the charities. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a it's, it's super good guy, super yeah. good person, and just openly wanted to help us mm -hmm. because he's a good person. So we said, all right, we're going to work something out to where a portion of every cigar we buy is going to go towards the mission. That's great. Yeah. So. Such a, I mean, such a good cause. I mean, you guys are obviously... Um, involved with them and like give it back like that is i mean i'm sure it means the world to them i mean it, yeah i'm sure they have many clients that just you know take cigars and roll out so like you, giving back to the community and, and being involved with them is is is, is awesome yep yeah it was really awesome Absolutely. so we, we've talked about the church hill yeah what we'll else talk about the robusto it's what else what else what else robusto yeah, so actually has cuban seeds robusto in it. i i'm Born honestly this was my this was my big summer cigar sitting on the you know the patio and the hot weather so um, uh, talk about the names, the Churchill, Robusto, like how, how, how yeah. what, what, so what, 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 size what, and shape. Yeah, what, is that what it is? Size and shape. Size and shape. Gotcha. Yeah, so we, we, like I told you earlier, we wanted to take a simple approach to this and, yep. and you know, not, not throw, throw curveballs right yeah. away. So we just stuck with, you know, pretty simp simplicity logo okay. and um, the names of the cigars. So we, you know, Churchill, Torpedo, um, the Robusto, the Figurado. and the Figurado. So what's the, what's the difference here? Um, well, the Figurado is pretty interesting because it, start, it starts very tapered and then it gets wider. So, in Figurado in Spanish is to make a good impression. So that's why they called it that because it's it's very unique in its shape. So when we when we age these, normally what they do is they put them in bundles, stacked, right? But this has to go in a box because why? it's so oddly shaped. It, oh. it can't be stacked, gotcha. right? And so then also the tip is a little bit darker, it has a little different wrap on the tip. Yeah, a little Habano So they add tip. a different tip. So when you light it, it's one flavor, and then as you get past the tip, it turns into a different flavor. So, and this is a, this is a fantastic Yeah, it kind of starts cigar. a little, like, nice nice kick, and uh -huh. then it mellows out in the belly. Um, yep. So yeah, that, that's a good cigar. Figure out on Friday, you know. Okay. So we, uh, okay. so we, we like those on Friday, but you know. You're smoking the Toro yep. right now? So that's our fifth blend that we just figured out when we were down there. Uh, did some taste testing, tried different things, and that's going to be the Toro. Um, well, we wanted your opinion, so what, what's your thoughts? I like it. You like it? Okay. I like it. All right. Yep. And, and again, were the last Toro is just the name of yeah. a different size cigar. So, yeah, and um, got the Robusto. So this is a little, you know, a little shorty, um, easy smoke, um, you know, Connecticut, Ecuadorian wrap, uh, but Cuban seeds grown in the Dominican. So there's a little bit of a kick with this. You know, I would say it's uh, mild to medium. Um, but a great summer smoke, a good, you know, smoke with your coffee, you know, easy going, you know, a good smoke. So, uh, holds the ash incredible. You can really, you can get this, you can get this guy down with a band. That one holds yeah. the ash the best? I, you know what? I, I showed you that I picture so. of my cousin last so. night. Yeah, my did. cousin Joey really got the torpedo down to, to the band. Uh -huh. I've never, you know, I try and beat him. I haven't got him yet, but, <laughs> uh, that being said, I, I, yeah, the Robusto, it's, it's nicely, nicely packed and, uh, it, it goes down, so. So how would you cut this one though? Because I mean, you can't just that one. You have to use a cutter for. Cutter <laughs> yeah, for. because it's torpedo tip. Yep. Box cut squared. Yep. Right. So where 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 do you where do you? Let me get this bad boy out. <laughs> and what's the what's the what's the what's the premise behind behind the wrapper? So the wrapper is actually porous. Really. So if you wanted to put the entire cigar in its wrapper in the humidor. Yeah. It will still achieve what it needs to, yeah. right? Because it's porous. It's not going to seal it off, right? You don't want, you don't want to take a cigar and put it in a Ziploc bag because no. it's it's not porous, yeah. right? So um, and it's just to keep it fresh and clean, 
you know, it's uh, so the the wrapper doesn't get all messed up or something. Like that. Correct. Yeah, All yeah. those things. Yep. Yeah, just the packaging. And part. so that one, you're going to want to use a cutter and cut the tip. What? Right. Just uh, straight so cut. Straight cut. Straight cut. Yeah. So you do not want to. You don't want to be cut that. Yep. So how much of a pull do you want? Oh. You know. So if you if you cut it at the very tip, less yeah, pull. It's, it's a, yep. Exactly. It's going to take a little longer. Yep. Yeah. So, you should always go for the cut, and you know, like I said, cut less at the beginning. You know, you try more. to draw. You don't want to ever get in a situation where you're you're really tugging on yeah. the cigar. Your neck muscles, your jaw, I mean, you, you just won't be able to smoke it. It'll, it'll get a little bit through. So, you know, you can always cut more, let's say, you know, so. So never use a V-cut again in my life is what you're telling me. Um, well, or when would I ever use a V-cut? Um, so, yeah, I would say, you know, definitely not on a torpedo. Um, okay. V-cut was, was not in down there. Uh, they were, you know, obviously they don't cut at all, but. Um, the v did you guys have a cutter on you, and you, and you looked around and you're like, uh-oh. we did. Put, and, put and when we first got <laughs> when we first got there, we were cutting, and uh-huh. nobody else was cutting. Yeah. And everyone has, you know, this this particular finger has a little bit of a nail on it, uh-huh. and I, I couldn't figure out yeah, why. Yeah, I was. We were asking, like, and then, hey, can you cut us? They're like, yeah, yeah just just hand it to me. And then they do something. With them, so like, that that little that throat. little circle that they put on the, on the tip, the cap with, with the gum, with gum. Yep. yep. So basically, when we're cutting, we're removing that. Yes. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep that. That's why you got to just make that little hurt, that little hole on the inside, so that you can have that cap on there still, and and that provides some of the taste because it's it's part of the wrapper, right? If you cut it, that's gone. It's gone. Yeah, and the V cut, like that's the thing. The col- the colibri, uh, colibri yeah. uh, V cut is really good because it, it really it, it's all measured for you. But that being said, in other V cutters, it's just you just take a risk, you know, of cutting it in the wrong spot. Um, it could be. You know, too much air coming through, which is going to burn hot. Um, it's going to taste a little different. So, I mean, yeah, if you got if you got the regular cap, your best bet is to just do an eighth inch. Um, if if you want to use a cutter, um, or you can you know attempt the. I'm throwing all pick. my I'm throwing all my cutters away. Yeah, I'm I mean, cutter. just you just pick it and then, you know yeah. try the draw, and if you yeah. if you got it good, that's what. What you about wrote. a punch cut? You could use a punch cut. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Like and our that, lighter actually has a punch yeah, on the bottom does. of it. Yeah. Actually, this is a really cool lighter. Yep. Um, it, it's the same principle, the punch cut. You know, you just make a little circle on the end. Yeah, I feel like that. If you're if you're if you're not sure what to do, I feel like this might be your your yep. best bet. Yep. yep. If you don't have the the, the fingernail. I mean, it, yeah, you're still gonna enjoy a cigar and yeah. smoke a cigar, but if you want to do it the way that they do it in the Dominican, the way that they say is the right way to do it, that's the way you should do it. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Yes, that's absolutely. The way I'm doing it now. <laughs> Every sixty seconds, not one, but two children are trafficked. And every 30 seconds, one is forced into exploitation for the purpose of heinous acts. Human trafficking is happening in your own backyard. It is happening to your neighbors. Many whom we see every day in our own communities hidden in plain sight. You know, there's kids out there that are being bought and sold 20 times a day. We must bring the child back to the center of our care and concern. Today, we launch Goya Cares. Goya Cares is committed to supporting victims and overcomers of trafficking and abuse to recover, restore, reconnect, and to shine the light that will block traffic. This is where we become the light. God saved me. I believe that I was called to this. Perhaps he's calling you to block traffic. Join Goya Cares and visit blocktraffic.org. So I'm going to partake a little oh, bit yeah, more yeah. in this, if you don't so mind. So what, what was the worst, best and worst part of the trip? So the worst part for me was seeing how impoverished they are. Yeah. Um, makes me want to donate more sure. to the mission and yeah. do different things. Um, the best part was the learning experience because we spent two full days, probably eight hours a day, yeah. visiting factories, getting tours, and every minute we were learning something new sure. it was unbelievable how much is involved in creating a cigar mm-hmm. so impressive um so educational that was the best part for sure yeah. and i would i would i would echo that um basically yeah the, the worst part was kind of seeing that but you know you also felt the culture and those and those car rides and mm-hmm. um the towns and all themselves uh the best part i think was how knowledgeable everyone was um in learning but also how uh, how they treated you, you know, being that you're their client and how they, you know, treated you like family. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, we made some really good connections in, you know, three days. Um, and for me, I mean, they were an open book. Yeah. So I was firing off questions all day sure. with Steve. I mean, we just, we talked about business. We talked about how should we do this? You know, how should we work on our presentation? You know, 
what, what kind of blend should we go with next? Mm -hmm. And they just offered a wealth of knowledge to us. Yeah. And, you know, not one, you know, if it, you know, hey, can I take a picture? Can I, yeah, absolutely, you know, sending they kept us saying, content. Yeah. This is your house. Yeah. yeah. This is your house. Like, you can ask wherever. Be comfortable to do whatever you want <laughs> to do. do. Whatever you if you want to I mean, Tommy's ashing on himself, and he's, oh, I'm sorry, it's on the floor. And they're like, no, it's fine, it's fine. There's ashes everywhere. And uh -huh. They clean it up at the end of the day. But um, yeah. just such good people. Yeah. Such good people. Yeah, it sounds like an amazing, amazing experience. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So what's next for Never Ash? A big 2022. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the Toro. Yep. Yeah, we're going to represent uh, Frankfurt. Uh, where we're from and where Steve's out of, mm -hmm. and we're, we're going to call it the 815, which oh. is the area code. Which cool. area code? Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to really, really work on uh, presentation. Um, you know, we, we, we've we had a good friend uh, make the boxes and whatnot. We want to, you know, hammer down on that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, work with some 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 nice cigar lounges in, in the city. Um, continue to work hard on the uh, the social media and connecting with our community. Um, and. Yeah, next getting year. Getting the just, word out, marketing. Yeah, you get a lot of events. Um, marketing. You know, more, more, more clubs, golf courses, kind of thing. Is so, it? I mean, so. I mean, everyone knows. I mean, there's, I mean, people that smoke cigars. I mean, there's certain brands that are known, and um, I, I feel like there's only. Are there a lot of you know, what you're doing out there? Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know how to phrase anything. it. I feel, I feel like I phrase that. No, 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 I know what you mean. Like, I think we, we've come across a lot of people that are like, wait, you're out of Frankfurt? Yeah. Uh, it just doesn't, how does that add up, you know? But I mean, are there, like, are there startup companies that are creating their own cigars and, and selling them like that? I mean, I, you know, you, you have these certain brands that are obviously selling cigars to, to cigar shops and you can order them online, but like, are there a lot of, is there a, is there a Never Ash, is there a comparable competitors um, out there that are doing what you're doing? Or not? I, I think there's so many brands, it's hard to for sure say on yeah. that, but... You know, at the same time, I do think we're in a unique spot with yeah. what we're doing. I mean, um, you guys created your own five cigars in a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. So Quite I don't know eight. how many startup companies there are, yeah. but obviously there's a lot of cigar companies. Sure. And when we started this, there was there were some people that were like, y you guys are nuts. Like, yeah. there's so many cigars out there. What are you doing? And yeah. we, we didn't care. We're like... No, we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the source and we're gonna make a premium cigar, yeah. and we are going to stand out because of the community. Yeah. You know, uh, the following is growing, people are posting, people are enjoying themselves, enjoying our cigars, and we're gonna continue with that process. Mm -hmm. We're not worried about how many cigar brands there are. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you there, there's competition you in anything you do. Yeah. You know, you can't worry so, about that. You gotta worry about yourself. No, obviously. so if we as long as we do it right, that's what yeah. we talked about. You know, mm -hmm. in the beginning. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Yeah. And we're going to. We're not going to make a secondhand cigar. We're not going to make. And we talked about uh, uh, the monkey. Yeah. You know. So the leftovers. From yeah. When yeah. 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 The cigar. Yeah. You tell, tell the ones us, that don't make yeah, it. Tell us exactly so, how so, that works. So 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 when they when they create a cigar. Yeah. You know they're they're cutting and mm -hmm. you know there's always excess. Yeah. Right. And the excess goes into a pile. Yeah. And and they call that monkey in yeah. Spanish. And, and that's where a lot of that actually. And that gets sold to other cigar companies Switcher that, makes, yep, that <laughs> yeah. make cigars. Sure. And that's where your lower level cigars come yeah. from. And yeah. that's not what we wanted, no. you know? And we didn't want a cigar made in the States by a machine. Mm -hmm. You know, we wanted the premium real. quality, yeah. um, handmade, yeah. and uh, from the right place, yeah. you know? So despite how many uh, uh, competitors we have, mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're not worried about it. Because at the end of the day, we're gonna make a really good cigar and, and the word's going to get out and it's going to grow yeah There's it's our no passion it's it's our passion for business and people and uh yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah and I think people people will feel that too yeah um and you know you start you know posting content and you know yeah. and, and small videos and down in the down in Dominican and 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 building that community more and more and more and more it's it's just going to keep keep going yeah yeah we we, we, we truly believe that and, and that's going to be a, you know the social media and the uh, that's how be a focal point as well for us. So yeah. boxes, are, boxes are on the horizon. Yes, yep. boxes are print presentation. Samples uh, are being made coming up. Samples are being made coming up. Got a couple hundred uh, Lanceros coming too. Uh, might be personal to begin with. And those but, are uh, those are those yeah. are those are MJ's favorite, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big fan. So we need Chicago. to get we need to get some to to uh, to two three. We you know, we would love that. That's, that's all. That's that would be that, right? that would be fantastic. Yeah. You yeah. know, I don't think he turned down, turns down cigars. He might have a favorite cigar, yeah. but he might he might try it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know well, him personally, but yeah, yeah. You well, never know. You guys that, are that's, Chicago, a, that's a dream. So, so. We'll, we'll try. Um, 
website. Neverash.com. Neverash.com. Yep. Uh, Instagram. At Neverash Co. At Neverash Co. Yep. Facebook. At Neverash. At Neverash. Um, great cigars. Obviously, everyone has heard the story. Two awesome dudes out of Chicago area doing it right. We've hit a lot of things, obviously, in this, and I appreciate you guys coming out. But um, the the label, Never Ash, clean, cool looking. Actually, I love the logo. I think that's actually what turned me on the most about it. Whenever you guys reached out, and I looked at the at the site and I saw the the logo and, and the uh, and the name, and I was like, damn, that's actually that's really good. Mm -hmm. And then Thank I started you. looking at the social media following and stuff and the pictures and I was like, I, I get it. That's actually, and I didn't, I actually did not know that about smoking a cigar, about yeah. the, about, that's, that's the about, true etiquette. Yeah. So give us, give us a rundown on that. Yeah. I mean, really, um, you know, as you light it, you, you want to keep that ash uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, it will help the cigar uh, burn cooler. Mm -hmm. um, it'll also keep the cigar lit. So you're not like putting it out and then it lighting. goes out and you're lighting yeah. all the time. Um, it also kind of just tells a story. You kind of, you know, when I, when I smoke, I really kind of, you know, I look at the wrapper, um, looking at the ash and kind of seeing, you know, how it's packed. Mm -hmm. um, that little black line at the end, yep. you know, acts as a fence of the ash. Yep. Um, you know, good, longer good ashes will be with long leaf filler, as it was which, what we use. Um, so, yeah, and it's fun. And, and the only thing I would say is, you know, don't be afraid to have the never ash bloopers but just make sure you're in the right setting and you're not uh, tommy's got a lot of never ash bloopers <laughs> i do when i, when I, I think I, I only blooper yeah <laughs> I, don't, I, don't even, I, I never make it here i mean my phone is just filled with uh you know 50 pics of one smoke yeah. just trying to get the perfect one yeah. i mean it's fun like, like on a weekend we'll do like um a never ash contest sure yeah you know uh, See, atmosphere uh -huh. Um, the ash, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you I'm know, the get, story. I'm where you to are. get into these contests. Yeah, we do a Labor Day. Fun. Yeah, Labor Day fun. weekend because there's three days. Uh -huh. now, so that's what you should do. We've done two in a row. So yeah, you should get in next time. I, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to get in. Um, awesome. I, I really appreciate you guys taking the time. It's, it, it's been a pleasure. Um, well, we appreciate your support. Oh, absolutely. We really do. Yeah, and I think Jay, like you know, uh, just sending that message at the beginning and you reaching out and then. Um, <laughs> You know, you tagging uh, right away. We just didn't expect that. We know we didn't really ask you for that. Yeah. But I think what you do on social media for a lot of small companies um, is really important. Like, you know, they, they're starting their following, and, and sure. we really kind of took a good leap when you did that. And we had people, you know, kind of say, you know, Jay sent us. And um, I think that's important for, for yeah. all those companies you do that for. And, uh, you know, thank you for that. I oh, really appreciate uh, it. It's my pleasure. I, uh, you guys have a great product, so it, it's, it, it was. 100% easy for me. But you guys did, uh, you guys did steal my, uh, my, my board guy. Oh, oh man. Talk about that. He's like, That's he's like kind of like my good friend now. Um, we, we chat all the time. So yeah, he's, he is very skilled. Uh, you know, I had asked him when you posted, I was like, you know, can I get a cuts one? And he's yeah. like, yeah, wh why not? Uh, you know, so we'll his, just, his, what, what is his, his handles rough, rough uh, sanded woodworking. Rough yeah, he's sanded, out of Minnesota. His name's Matt. Matt. He's a, yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, yeah, so he's like, let me do a Never Ash one. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And I was like, do you need the logo? He's like, no, I, I'll figure something out. And all of a sudden, he's like, all right, I'm going to buy your cigars. I'm going to put them in the board. I'm like, wait, what? You're going to put them in the yeah, board? So it's whoever like, orders a board, yeah. he's using our cigars. He's, he's incredibly talented. He, yeah. he, he made some boards for uh, Farmer, Kentucky, yeah. Montana, Tennessee. He did he one did for PJ Fleck, one. too. He did a okay. Row the Boat for Minnesota. Oh, I did, I did yeah, see that. That's a really cool one, too. He, uh, he, he actually did uh, some, uh, some chairs, too. Oh. And drove them down from Minnesota to my farm in Kentucky, dropped them off with the boards. Phenomenal. He's a yeah, phenomenal he, he truly is. And, um, yeah, it was funny. One of Steve's – I got the board. I got a board, and then I got Steve one. And the his, in Steve's board, he put lights on it. I saw that. Yeah, Inside. which was another, like, so crazy idea. So he had inlaid with lights, lights on a cutting board. Yeah, yeah and he posted cool. a reel. Yeah. And he reached out to me right when it hit 10K. He's like, dude, I got to do more cigar boards. And I'm like, wow, good for you. Like, keep going, man. Yeah. And then the next week, it went up to like, you know, 10 million views. And then now I think, I said, so last time I checked, it was at 24 million. And his page went from like 3,000 followers to like 25,000. So I mean, he- Matt, I need another board, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, awesome guy. Yeah. And uh, you know, we, we, I, we share the same passion right now. Oh, so yeah. whenever we're talking, you know, I could see he's passionate about what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He sees about me. So yeah. we love kind of, 
working together, and he's gotten a lot of, a lot of cigar orders right now, cigar bar orders, so he's, awesome. he's doing good. Good, good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a good dude, and he, Absolutely. Went out, he went out of his way for me, so yeah. I appreciate that. Um, so, uh, neverash, neverash.com. Yep, neverash.com. Uh, Instagram? Neverashco. Neverashco. Facebook? At Neverash. At Neverash. Um, cigars are phenomenal. Uh, thank you for the rum. Thank you for taking the time. <laughs> Uh, I, I think that big things on the horizon for you guys. So I, thank you. I, I'm thank excited you. to watch the ride and, and watch you guys uh, succeed because it's Appreciate well deserved. That. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. We're going to barbecue, uh, smoke some, cigar, some cigars if you guys want to hang out. Okay. And, Sounds uh, great. We'll have it's a nice little kind of pre fall day. So yeah. Yeah, cool. cheers. 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 Thank you.